The people are here are nice. So far? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so far. <laughs> We think it's over. It's almost done. It's probably another half hour until I can get back on my bike. Welcome to Bulawayo. I've just arrived. I can hear the thunder starting again. Last night I stayed in a place called Halfway House just for the night. I managed, managed to make it there after getting lost. But I know this way is Bulawayo. Oh God, I can hear the thunder. I better get going. Let's catch up when I get there. Oh no. I've just made a new friend called Ivan. We're hi both hiding from the rain because it's on its way. Hi guys. <laughs> He's gonna let me ride his bike. You've got a small head, it doesn't even fit The me. drag locks. Uh-huh. How is it? Uh, yeah, I like it. Every day, I try and... Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Bulawayo is called the City of Kings. Ah. Why is that? It's like, I think we started just like... Uh... We are about 30k from Pretoria. I'm down in South Africa. It's still rain season here as well. I know there's going to be thunder at some point. <laughs> How many did you say? 1,455 kilometers to Cape Town. 1,455 <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Number 400 on the service stations. This one's got a wind piece. Hi. I'm having to limit, limit myself to one of these or two of these every day. What's the difference between 95 and 93? The price and the quality. Is the quality better with 95? Yes. Thank you. Oh, don't worry about the receipt. It's okay. Thank you, it's okay. It's okay. So this building up there is called the Union Building. It was originally built in 1910 when the Union of South Africa was created. It's seen protests over the years. In 1956 they had a big protest of around 20,000 women came here, all different races, to protest against the, the past laws that they had in South Africa. But then in 1997 they had the inauguration of this guy here the first democratically elected president in all of South Africa. Which nation? Okay, me, I'm one of the Christian people. You see, we come with our king here to ask the government to recognize us as a nation. We are the first nation of South Africa, ah. but we are not recognized us as a nation. Okay. We want the government to make our language official and recognize us as a nation. But we are the first people before any other nation. Come. Okay. When, when the war come, we run into the bush and they call us bushmen. And huh. these people come, the black people, they come from Central Africa. They fight with uh, the, the white Bantu. people. They fight with the white people. When they win, they don't... Give they don't you guys do, Yeah, they don't do What's anything. the name of the tribe? Quesans. Quesans. Quesans yeah. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> No, doesn't look like it works today. 
This one is all of the women, the 20,000 women, that came here and marched in protest. Too small. Yeah. I've just left Pretoria on my way to Bloemfontein. They call them plazas. Makes it sound nice. This is about to cost me 75 rand for this tow. Adds up. I'll just pay cash. Yeah. Everyone I meet keeps on making fun of the size of this bike. It's only 150cc and I'm going on the highway. Another toll. We're about 76 kilometers away from Bloemfontein. About 1,020 kilometers away from Cape Town. 64. Thank you. Another city, another mall. I'm in Bloemfontein. Now I'm going to go and get on the bike again. Another 1,000 kilometers to uh, to Cape Town, which means probably two more days driving. We're going to try and drive 500 kilometers today. Unfortunately, the bike only goes about 90 kilometers an hour, so it takes about six hours to do that. Hopefully, my stuff is still on my bike. I just parked it up and left it. Yes. This elastic came off when I was driving just there. And this entire thing fell off in front of a car. I am about 30 kilometers from Richmond NC. That's where I'm going to stop tonight. I've been driving for a while. I think it's going to take me two more days until I get to Cape Town. But I just wanted to stop here in the middle of nowhere because the sun's coming down. It's dry here, but this lightning is unbelievable. I've just been watching this lightning storm happening over there. I think this is all rain. Some of the lightning. It's like watching a fireworks display. I wouldn't like to be trapped in the storm over there though. Look, over there. Oh. Oh. Okay, onward to Richmond NC. Because the other guy that fix bikes, he's got a and he's got a job also, so he's doing that part time. Okay. Do you have the guy's number? Yes, yes, the number. Is this the one that's at work? Yeah, he's a mechanic, mechanical bikes, cars. But he, uh, the guy that just brought me here, told me that he has another job. Yeah, not really, but yeah. So he won't be available till he, 5 p.m.? He will, yeah, maybe. Just, I'll talk speak to him. him. I'll speak to him. Okay. Hear what he has to say. Thank you. Was from the mist, cell number 065. You are vlogging. You are from Cape Town. UK. Scotland. Scotland. Hello? 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 Hi. I was given your number. Are you a mechanic? I'll come around here. Ten. In the next 20 minutes or so. Oh, in the next 20 minutes. Okay, great. See you soon. Did you get the right size? It's the spark plug. <laughs> you need someone to fix it. No, your somebody pack. fixed it for me. Okay. And then? They didn't charge me. That's nice. You lie, really? No, I'm being serious. You're going to pay with the cards, huh? Right? Yeah. Thank you. Where are you coming from? Uh, I came sorry. from. Bloemfontein. Yeah. But I entered up at uh, Bite Bridge. Okay. I came through Zimbabwe. Okay. So you are traveling? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, really? It's so windy and this bike is so light that I keep almost getting blown off the road. 
500 kilometers to go. Also, the bike doesn't seem like it's fixed. It's still shuddering every time I try and go up to like 80 kilometers an hour and it's not really getting there, so. Why is it so windy? If you make it to Cape Town tomorrow evening or Sunday, Sunday night, you've got a gig? We've got two gigs. Yeah. Oh. I've just arrived in a town called Langsburg. This is a wimpy burger. This has been my staple diet since I got to South Africa. <laughs> it's vegetarian, but yeah, this is uh, what I've been eating on the journey. I think I'm going to try to uh, hitchhike the rest of the way. So we'll see if one of the trucks will take me with my motorbike. Also, I just met a band called The Tasers and they have a gig tomorrow night, so if I get to Cape Town, maybe I'll get to go there. I tried to hitchhike, but it didn't really work out. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley tried to help me, but I think I'm just going to chance it and try driving with this uh, broken machine. <laughs> Good morning. I made it as far as Tooze Valley, which is maybe 180 kilometers away from Cape Town. So I ended up staying here last night. It got very, very cold in the evening, but we're only two hours away from Cape Town now. Super excited and ready for my last day of driving. This house here cost me, I think 25, $25 to stay last night. It was 400 Rand. I'm actually super excited. I've almost made it. This has been 11 months in the planning. And finally, today is my last drive all the way into Cape Town. The views around here on this drive into Cape Town are just incredible. The last few days, I've not really been enjoying the driving because it's been a hard slog. I just want to get to Cape Town. But this last leg into Cape Town is, is beautiful. Actually, I'm almost reaching the town of Worcester. And these mountain ranges are... Wow. I just came out of that tunnel back there. And it went on for about five kilometers. It's called the called the Huguenot Tunnel. Lion's Head, Table Mountain. We made it! Oh man! Woo -hoo! Made it to Cape Town. Oh, I never actually thought that I would make it. I got here. I got to Uganda in January and I had planned all along to travel down here and got here at the end. And there you go. Table Mountain over here. Lion's Head. I cannot wait to spend some more time here in this city. Let's go! Engine, engine tune up. Yeah. Have I ridden her too hard? Yeah, if I've ridden too hard, okay. and then you do, do service. Do a service, and that's it. I want to do service and engine tune up for the tablet, make it nice on the head, everything nice is gonna be. Fine. It's gonna be fine. Hundred percent. Okay, okay. Good times. Gabriel's the man. Yeah. Here's his number. Thanks. All right, cool. Okay. Sweet. You don't want to go to the gym, Seba? No. <laughs> I'm taking Seba to an outdoor gym. Look at me go. <laughs> I've been going on about this gym for how many days? How many days are you going to come to this? I was saying... Good equipment. <laughs> I was saying that this yeah. outdoor gym, it had like 200 reviews on uh, Google and it said they said it was good. <laughs> what do you think, Seb? Are you going to join this gym? Yeah, <laughs> pretty sure I would go one uh, once. Yeah. Girls gym now, yeah? Easy. Alright, I better get back to it. I'm going to show you guys some drone footage of Seapoint.